how can you do a good validation of your SAP integration flows using CPI Lint and the VGAF tool? So uh, I've recently experimented with using GitHub Actions to be triggered when someone made a modification to an iFlow. So right now I have done a few modifications on an iFlow here. And in the VGAF tool, we have an option to synchronize these things. And this can obviously be done as batch jobs. And we can synchronize the, the package we have selected here. And yeah, you'd normally just set it up to run every day, every hour, etc. And what it'll do is it'll check if there are any changes that have been happened. And we can see we have a new object and two new versions. And if we look at this, we can see these two versions that have been updated all the way to the top here. We have good iFlow and this iFlow that has been changed. This is then pushed automatically to our GitHub action. And we can see here that it shows here we have these two versions. It's just a version number that has been changed. And then the other one that we have added some more information on it. What we can then see based on this action is we are getting as uh, objects that were run here on this. We can drill in and we can see the details here. We can see that the job has run. Uh, the interesting part here is we can look at the iFlow here. Here we have a script that goes through the different settings and bundle the different iFlow that where there's any things to look at. So it's added this and added the second iFlow here. Then it runs, uh, it inspected two folders and two iFlows and one issue were found. And if you look here, you can see the, the iFlow and the description that has failed. I will get a notification that there's a failed job and then I can go in here and see what is going on. So obviously there's room to improve this. If you look a little on what this looks like, then in the GitHub, uh, we have created a, a folder here. This starts with a, here we can see the, the description of the project. We can see what starts on branches, on the branch ERT sync, and it, it will do it if the commit messages does not contain skip tests. Then we set up a Java 11 environment because CPI Lint requires that. And then we find the iFlows. We're using a script flow and I will show that later. And then we fit the CPI Lint and we run it here. And then we get the results. If you want to see it, then we go here to the script. This is a batch script. And here we've just added a extract, get a list of the changes that have happened in this and only the manifest, put it into a file, and then we will pass through this file and fetch the, all the relevant data from it. Um, so this is a pretty simple uh, process uh, to handle. Um, if you want these scripts, you can find them in the blog post that I will link in the description. So here we have the blog post here. We can see the the two scripts that have been added here. And then you just add it into this uh, GitHub Actions workflow folder. Uh, and then it will be processed there. Um, obviously, this can be run without using a FIGAF, but I do recommend that you use FIGAF because then everything is handled without you needing to spend too much time on setting these things up. I hope this has been helpful and you want to check more out at figaf.com or check the CPI Lint blog post in the description. Thank you.